Starting soon, the Monday Market Highlights podcast will be exclusively available on Milford's new podcast channel called On Track with Milford. Search On Track with Milford on your podcast app and tap subscribe so you don't miss out on any episodes. You're listening to the Monday Market Highlights brought to you by Milford. Good morning. It's Monday the 10th of July and I'm Kate from Milford. This week in economic news, the RBA kept rates on hold at 4.1%, with market expectations largely balanced between hold and 25 basis point rise. Interestingly, most economists have kept their peak rate assumptions unchanged and therefore pushing peak rates to later in the year. What was more surprising to the market was the dovish statement by the governor, which highlighted the cumulative impacts of prior rate rises as the rationale for the pause in rates. Moving to the US, employment data showed the US economy continues to be resilient, with a big ADP employment beat and Jolt's data showed falling vacancies and job cuts are at an eight-month low. ISM Services PMI came in stronger than expected at 539 versus 51 expected. However, ISM manufacturing PMI data was soft, in fact the weakest level in more than three years. Employment also remains strong, with the unemployment rate coming in 0.1% below previous at 3.6%, which was in line with expectations. More importantly, the economy added 209,000 jobs in June 2023 following a downward revision of 306,000 in May, and was below market forecasts of 225,000. This is the lowest reading since December 2020, but is still strong relative to the 70 to 100,000 jobs needed per month to keep up with the growth in the working age population. Finally, on US economic news, the Fed minutes showed a less united board at its June meeting with some officials favouring a 25 basis point increase, but went along with the decision to pause instead. Almost all members said that additional rate increases would likely be appropriate. In equity news, the ASX 200 was down 2.24% last week, with nearly every sector down as macro volatility and central bank uncertainty continues to mount. Despite this, M&A activity and updates to existing deals evolved last week, including a $1.2 billion buyout proposal for Costa Group from PSP, and United Malt Group also entered into a scheme implementation deed under which Maltries has agreed to acquire 100% of the shares for a 45.3% premium. JLG announced an acquisition of two essential home services companies, Smoke Alarms Australia and Link Fire for a total upfront consideration of $62 million, funded via a $65 million equity raise. The acquisition reportedly created a new growth vertical for JLG, which supports its existing business. Suncorp disclosed new reinsurance risk to the market, which was not as bad as feared. They announced a 12% increase in reinsurance and natural hazard allowance. Earnings will have more volatility as they are covering less with reinsurance and taking more risk on their own book. Finally, in equity news, Redox listed this week with a $400 million raise and $1.3 billion market cap. Redox is a supplier and distributor of chemicals, ingredients and raw materials. On the first day of trading, it closed off 5% and closed off about 6% for the week. Turning to the week ahead, The most important data print to look for is the US inflation rate. Core inflation is forecast to fall 0.3% to 5% for June. And headline inflation is forecast to be 3.1%, which is a 0.9% decline from May. In the UK, unemployment rate is expected to remain flat at 3.8%. And in Australia, the RBA governor's speech will be released, which will provide details on last week's interest rate decision. Thank you for listening and we will see you next week. Don't forget, this podcast is moving to Milford's new podcast channel. Search On Track with Milford on your podcast app and tap subscribe so you don't miss out.